Okay, on to exercise 2a then. So uh, first question is b to the power of 4 times b cubed. Um, so when you're timesing powers, you're going to be adding the indices together. As long as these are the same, you can add the indices. So this one is going to become b to the power 7. Next one, we've got a to the 5 divided by a to the 3. So when you're dividing um, things with the same base, different powers, you're going to subtract these two powers. So we're going to get a to the power 2. 5 take 3 gives us 2. Right, question 3. We've got x cubed all squared. So we're going to be timesing these powers because of our indices rule, which gives us x to the power 6. Uh, question four, we've got two over five cubed. So we're going to cube the top and then we're going to cube the bottom as well. So two cubed gives us eight and five cubed gives us 125 for that one. Question five, we've got uh, 27 to the power of a third, which is basically the cube root of... 27. Um, cube root 27 is going to be 3 if you know your 3 times table. There we go. You need to make sure you know that one. Uh, question 6, 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So now we've got a fractional power with two different things going on. Um, we can do them in either order. One's always going to be more easy though. So a lot easier to square root 9 than it is to cube 9. So we'll square root the 9 first. So the square root of 9 is 3, so we end up now with 3 cubed. And from the last question we learned, well, 3 cubed, we should know anyway is 27. Um, so it links up to that one, and we get 27. All right, on to question 7. So question 7, we've got 81 to the power minus a quarter. Uh, so again, two parts of this one. We've got a minus sign to deal with, and we've got this power of a quarter to deal with as well. Um, now, the fourth root of 81 gives us 3. So 3 to the power of 4 is 81. So I can do that bit first and say it's going to be the fourth root, 81, all to the power of minus 1. I know the fourth root of 81 is 3, so we get 3 to the power of minus 1, and 3 to the power of minus 1 is 1 over Three is a third for that one. Question eight, we've got two thirds to the power minus two. So again, we can do it in either order. Um, let's use the minus bit first this time. So we're gonna take the reciprocal of our fraction, which means we're gonna flip it. So we get three over two to the power two because the minus sign has been used now. Now we're gonna square everything. So we get nine over four for that one. And lastly, question nine, we've got the square root four over nine, which really is a thirds question. So you can root the top and get two, root the bottom and get 